everybody, my name is Pauline, and welcome to Pet Cemetery. Is there a story? No, that's just the Ichio page. And speaking of the Ichio page, this is the same developers behind What Lurks Below the Surface and Frosty the Snow Hitman, which were great. So, I don't remember... Oh, hello, you're a person, aren't you? Anyway, I don't remember if this is said that it was based off of the movies or the books. Um, book, uh, it's one book. Um, I don't know, and I'm not going to read through it, so we're just going to play it. Hint, one or two to adjust the brightness to your liking. I made a mistake, I should cover this up using the bed sheets. What do you mean I made a mistake? Did I piss my- I killed someone, is, is the thing, I- Hello? Oh, you look like you've been dead for a while. Uh, my bed sheets. Why my bed sheets? Oh, I this is okay. Oh, I I cover him in bed sheet. I pick him up. That was easy. Do I bury him and then we have the pet cemetery thing going on? Where you bury him in the pet cemetery and come back to life as an evil zombie thing? It's been years since I've seen that film. Ah, oh, lovely. Is church here? I know that's a cat. Can I did I already I'm guessing I put him in a hole. Do I dig a hole? Oh, I died. Okay, now. That's the loudest fucking hole in the world. Ow. That's deep enough. I can put him in and finally get to sleep. Yeah, this is very normal. I'm a psychopath, I guess. Just casually dump the body in there. Dig. Bury it. Cover it. Cover. Cover it. Cover it. Cover it. Or just leave it in my bed sheets. Right there in a big hole in my garden. Do I really just leave? Tash not the burial spot. Oh. I shall come back tomorrow at burial. It's not like he's gonna come out. I wasn't reading what you were saying. And uh, yeah, it's also not like someone will <laughs> notice the dead body in the garden. But okay. Sleepy time. What's happening? I can't move. Oh no. Oh, he's burying me. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, um. Jesus! So loud! <sighs> what? What? That was like two minutes long. Okay, well, um... In a quiet wood, Illinois, regular guy, peaceful, current takes life, a sinister turn, in accidental death sets a bizarre chain of events. He navigates the mysterious consequences, secrets of the woods slowly unravel, uh, connection lives, brace yourself into a journey of heart rule, Illinois. Could I have looked for something? Can I turn up the brightness? There we go. Okay. Uh, maybe there's something else. Hold on. I can't leave the brooch. I, um... Yeah, I, there, there was nothing else. It was just this. It sounds interesting, right? When I read the thing. It seemed interesting. And yeah, it's based off of, well, like... Sort of, little bit based off of Pet Cemetery, but this is it. I can't pop them down. I can't dig the hole. I already did it before. Oh, there we go. All right. Gotta sleep. Yep. There's really. All right. Well, um, this was Pet Cemetery. Gotta say, really lovely. I uh, was looking forward to some sort of story behind it. I guess you just need to already know the story of Pet Cemetery. To I close you. All right, never mind. Um, I guess you need to already know that. Yeah, if someone gets buried or if something gets buried in the pet cemetery, it comes back to life. And I think it happened to the pet cat first. Church. And then the kid. 
And then the wife, I think. Okay, thank you for that. Um, this is a much tamer version. They don't just bury you alive in Pet Cemetery. Uh. But, it was interesting. Moving on. Okay, so the second game we have is Lamp Post, which is said to be an SCP type game. I don't remember hearing about a Lamp Post SCP. Um, all right, Ratlin. This is made by the same person behind Perfect Spot, and I was, thought I played another one, Stalls of Dread, and they've made a lot of games. I don't know if I played the other ones, but those are two that I remember, and they were really good. So let me just do a real quick. Apparently it is! SCP-7961. I haven't read up on that one, but... Cool. We're playing a game based off it. Sweet. Ooh, hello. Okay, recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost SCP, I have just gave the name, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes into contact with it. Press enter to continue. That's tame for an SCP. It's so dangerous, but that's tame. Okay, oh, so here we go. Dr. Hayden, our intel suggests that this is a Kester-class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. Click here. Yes. Alright, SCP Hablerida doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. Teleportation. Cool. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forests, yet the object this area appears from unknown locations. We must contain the, the, those objects. Click here. Oh, thank you. Here, this is an analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequencies, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lamppost and collect them. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case if anything happens and Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Collect as leaps five samples. Report to Dr. Cooper and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost and good luck. Please can I go? Thanks. Bye Hayden. Um, movement and interact sprinting. Good. Whee! All right, hi. Hello, oh, what's this? This looks interesting, it's fungus. It's a fungi man. It's a lot of fungi. Do I turn it on at some point or will it just metal detect? Hi, oh fuck, I won't touch that. That's a bad idea. All right, uh, this. No, this seems normal, I guess. Is, do I actually need a... I'm, these look like random objects I'm finding. Th these are... These are objects, I must say. Do I need to wait for the little blip thing to go? Ooh, that looks interesting. Now, this is interesting. Apparently, it's nothing. Alright, the shovel in the ground that's surrounded by blood. It's nothing. Black it? No. Did I miss an instruction? There's blood. There's big shoe footy prints. Oh, that was one of them. Or is that just my flashlight? No, I don't even get to use it. Alright, it had no power in it. Coffee. Love a <gasps> coffee. Alright. So it does make a sound. It just didn't with that flashlight. Um. Alright. None of you can help with this. I'm the only one that's intelligent enough to do this, I guess. Is it only in this area? Yes, okay. Oh. Cool. Where? This thing. Okay, thank you. How many is that? Three? I think that's three. This. It's thirsty. I think one more. Hi, Hayden. Uh, one more item. 
Here we go. Report Dr. Cooper. Doctor, nope, not you. Cooper, excuse me, Hayden. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not wonder where those objects are coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Yeah. Ha! Ha! No one is allowed in this area. There, there are so many objects here. Could it be the SCP moves these objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension. Maybe the mother behind you. Ha! Ah, your analog melee is picking up frequency. Damn. Oh no, the lamppost. What? Ah! Oh, it's got a shield. It seems to be some sort of for- some thingy for- God, I can't speak. <laughs> Force field. Hello? Ow? Find a way- oh. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Oh, day unknown. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost, a medica dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is this is what vortex of photons create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light. And if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the objects of the person disappear. Room to cancel. I can't- oh god. Bones. Oh! Shit. I hear footsteps, I don't like it. Ah! Bitch. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. Oh no, I turned that on, didn't want to. I don't want to follow the sound. I'm just going to keep going left. Keep going left. And I'll figure out the lamp. Oh, I found it. Found it. Dad, don't do nothing. Okay. <sighs> Bones, great. Oh, the door. Good. Brr. Bones. I don't follow the bones. Oh, note. Day unknown. Sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned, but one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. Uh-oh. It whispers their name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. Okay. I lost my hope a long time ago, so you're gonna starve with me. Uh. Nothing good. Oh wait, computer? Do I turn the- I'm a turn- <gasps> Sorry. I won't look at your browser history, I promise. I said I won't look at it. <laughs> ah! Alright, Scott with <laughs> canal. Let us get out your way first, Jesus. <sighs> uh, Alright, turn that on. Go to the lamp up. Oh, I was supposed to do it. It didn't tell me to do that, but I did it anyway. Are you proud of us? I won't look. That wouldn't look, you shithead. And, oh, friend. Oh, Hayden. Please don't do that. Oh, you've poopied yourself. Oh, Hayden, your eyeball. Right, I'm gonna just leave you. I'm gonna leave you with your thoughts and your feelings. Oh, that's getting louder, actually. Oh. Coco, can I have one? Oh, skull. I don't want it. I want mine, though. Don't take mine. I'm just pottering around now. I want to make sure I find everything. Oh, we discovered something out this world. It is a regular lamppost to make a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. I read this. Creates photons. The lamp becomes active when there's a surge of electricity. The person will disappear. I'm back to the beginning. Alright, I am back to the beginning. I don't remember if it's left here. Oh, it is. Found it! Oh, it's shiny! I thought it was shaking. It's just shiny. Huh! My emitter! <gasps> oh! I'm sorry! Hi! Can I go home? I won't tell anyone. About your lamppost, you can keep it. Game by Niven 
Heading, uh, Hedinger, I'm sorry. I said some models of my artists. Amazing work, special thanks to you for playing. Uh, that was amazing. They, uh, they make great games too. They make other great games that are spoopy. Great. Um. It closed. Okay, good. I mean, they, they do like to make creepy games, so. That was fun. I'm gonna just open it to be on here. Okay, so that was the lamp post. I don't think I've heard of this SCP before. But it's really interesting. I really liked it. I'm glad that they decided to leave me alive, maybe. Unless they just brought me back to kill me. Love that sound. Awful. Uh, but that was really fun. These were very short and very spoopy. First one was mainly loud, but... They were really good, and they've made other great games as well. And if you want to play either of these for yourself, there will be links in the description below for you to play them. If you enjoyed this video, which I really hope that you did, then leave a like and comment about whatever you may like and online. Subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified and upload a new video. And thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, whatever time it is. And I will see you next time. So, bye!